Today I want to show you the proper method to take off a circuit board film pad. Right now you're going to see the circuit board film pad that I've taken off of another controller, one that I have proven to work correctly. Now I want to replace it onto another circuit board and in order to do that I will have to remove the first circuit board film pad and put this circuit board film pad on. You can see that I've already opened up my PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller and I have taken away the motherboard side so you can see the entire circuit board film pad on the other side. This is the part that comes into contact with all of the button presses. You press a button and it's going to then register on the circuit board film pad. The circuit board film pad is going to bring that signal over to the side of the motherboard and the motherboard is going to register that you have pressed that button and it will, by Bluetooth, tell the PlayStation that you have in fact done that series of button presses. As you can see on the back of this, this is the side of the circuit board film pad that comes into contact with the motherboard. It is affixed to this plastic casing right here. In order to get it taken off of the plastic board casing, we're going to need to use some kind of blunt object that's like a uh, toothpick or something, but we don't want to use a toothpick because that would be a little bit too pointy. We want to get something that's got more of a blunt edge so that it's not going to pierce through the circuit board film pad, which can be quite uh, sensitive. So, for this, I'm going to be using a Q-tip. The Q-tip, of course, has a cotton on it, so I'll go grab a pair of scissors, and I will cut that tip off, therefore leaving somewhat of a blunt edge for me to use. All right, so now, I will try to go underneath this circuit board film pad and take it off of all of the plastic alignment pins on this plastic casing. First of all, go under here and get that one off pretty easily. Over here, this should be somewhat easy as well, but it is going to take a while to get off since it's the last one. There you go, a little bit bigger. Came off, we got that all taken off on that side, but before we can slip it out of this little hole in this plastic casing, we are going to need to take off the rest. So, we go underneath and try to get off the L1, L2, and the R1, R2. I guess I said that in reverse, so that's the L1, L2 on this side. Alright, get that off of there. Then we go underneath the rest of the sides for the triangle square circle and d-pad um, button press areas. Alright, and we go under there and we are going to get that off too. It's a little bit harder over here. As you can see, these plastic alignment pins are a little bit bigger. So, we need to get all the way around it and get that off. Then go to the other side and here we go as well. Do exactly the same thing that we did on that other side. Alright, get this guy off. It's a little bit difficult when I'm trying to hold it up in the air to show you guys. usually do this uh, on a flat surface, but I think uh, we can probably do it right here. It just might take a little bit longer. All right, and this last little one. Now that you have just this last little plastic uh, pin left, you actually might be able to uh, take out the entire uh, film pad and then turn it to one direction because it has a little bit of, uh, a little bit of space there. But... Um, for these purposes, I'm just going to show you what I can do with uh, this little Q-tip here. Just get underneath it on all angles, all sides, and pull it up. Alright, now we've got that. We can pull it out of the hole, and there goes your circuit board film pad. So, say that's the broken circuit board film pad. Take the original circuit board film pad that I had from my other controller, and I can put it on in almost the exact opposite order that I just did, just took this one off. As you can see, it's got all the little nodes for all your button presses to go on and register that onto the back of this uh, circuit board film pad which comes in contact with the motherboard. So, without any more explanation, I think I can probably tell you guys that uh, that's how you do that, and uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope that this has been informative to you. If there are any questions, please do leave a comment, 
and I'll be sure to answer it either in the form of a video or in the form of just writing down.